Guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. This is probably one of the most important videos I've ever done in my YouTube career because I'm going to show you the difference in NV serial filtration systems because this is the heart and soul of every bomb shelter. And if you don't do it right, your bomb shelter will not work. There are good air systems and there are bad air systems out there that, in my opinion, and the opinion of everyone else that's seen them will not work and will not do the job. And most people feel like they're a gimmick or a scam. And I'm gonna show you what is inside a couple of these questionable air systems in a minute. Before you, I have five of the six air systems that are produced in the world today. The only one I don't have in front of you is one made in Finland. But before you over here, I have the VA300 from Bethel made in Israel. I have the VA150 filter, which is our standard filter we put in all the Atlas survival shelters here, made by Andair. I have a VA40 made by Lunor, which we put in our smaller shelters. This is the safe cell from American Safe Room, and that black plastic thing over there is the air system that a company called Rising S Bunkers is putting in all their shelters. So let me explain to you how the air system works so you get an idea. Okay, then I'm going to show you what is inside these air systems, and you're going to be shocked. The NB serial filtration system is what is going to give you air to breathe inside your bunker. And if you have a lot of people in there, you need a lot of air, otherwise you're just going to die. So imagine this, you're going to have to have such a massive, such a massive pump and a motor to be able to drive the centrifugal pump to pull air in through like 40 feet of air pipe like we do on the Atlas shelter. It's got to pull all the air through the air pipe. It's got to pull it through a filter, through a HEPA filter and through lots of carbon. And it's got to strain all the air out and it's got to pull it through there, pull it up through the motor and then dispense it in the room, fill the room up with so much air that you're, not that your ears want to pop, but it opens an overpressure blast valve that kind of looks like an eardrum, and it takes out the bad air that's been used, or the CO2, takes it and pushes it through a series of pipes and dispenses it in the yard on the other side of the bunker. So to do that, you need a massive, giant, strong, long-lasting pump, and that it's got to at least last, you know, minimum 30 days. So the Swiss, this is what the Swiss air systems have, both the Lunor and the Andair, have basically the exact same motor. They have this large motor. It's a it's a, a 180 volts. The reason it's, uh, it's got to be at least 180 volts or less because it has a way to manually operate it. So if you lose power, you can operate this manually. But the air is pulled through this nozzle right here. It goes through the HEPA filter, through the carbon, comes to this nozzle, passes up through here, and blows like a hurricane out of here. The Israelis have even gone bigger. This has an 8-inch air pipe, where this one has a 6-inch air pipe, but it's got a bigger filter over there. But the same thing, it's got to be pulled through the air pipes, it's got to go through that uh, nozzle over there, go through the carbon filter, the HEPA filter, come back through the motor, and blown out of this thing. So that's why you have these big, giant motors. Would you believe what was inside there to compete with this by the two made in America is this right here? That's it. I'm absolutely blown away. The motor is this little tiny DC motor. So they're comparing this DC motor against this motor right here. They're comparing this motor against this right here. This is the fan they're, they're counting as a centrifugal pump to pull the air in and fill up your bunker against the giant fan that is over here and against the giant fan that is in, inside here. I had no idea what was inside these air systems until I recently opened them up. I must say that, and I must have a disclosure, that years ago, I came up with the idea of making an inexpensive bomb shelter that would sell for under $20,000. And the only air system I could find that would fall within a budget so I could supply you guys an affordable air system so I could help everybody out was this air system made by American Safe Room. I took it for granted that this was a giant motor in here. There was a giant motor in here that was pulling the air through it. And all I found out what was inside was that. That's it, it's a little motor right here. That's all they've put inside there. So this air system is completely hollow with the exception there's a HEPA filter and a, and a carbon tray. I thought there was big giant motors in there that was pulling the air, but when I put that in those small bunkers when I was making the prototypes, 
The motor was loud. This thing's loud as hell. It's like a blow dryer. And then it wasn't blowing in the air. So I was thinking maybe the motor inside there was a problem until I tore it apart and I found that there's nothing inside there. There's no motor in the bottom. There's no motor in the top. All that's inside there is this. And it's the same with the Ryzen S bunker because Ryzen S copied this one apparently, in my opinion, because when you open it up, it has basically the same motor, okay? That's what's inside there. That's it. what's inside your Ryzen S. It doesn't weigh nothing. There's a tray of carbon, there's a HEPA filter, and then this thing's hollow. There's nothing inside them, either one, either the American or the Ryzen S. So the point is, guys, if you want a good air system, Make sure it meets Israeli standards or Swiss standards. These things, I actually took the carbon out of there, poured it in a bucket and weighed it. There was eight and a half pounds in this one, basically eight and a half pounds in the other one. This one here, the smallest air system, the VA-40 that the Swiss even make, has 62 pounds of carbon. The VA-150, we actually took out, we weighed it, has 106 pounds of carbon in it, or 48 kilos. The other one, the Israeli one, has about 130 pounds of carbon because that's a va 300 where this is a VA-150, so that filter is actually bigger than this one. So it's got a little bit more carbon. But military standards, I was told, must have at least 60 pounds of carbon in there. And this is an activated tetacarbon. It's pre pretty much the same carbon in all of them. It says these have 8 pounds, 60 pounds, 106 pounds, and 130 pounds. The amount of carbon matters because basically it's like bullets in a gun. Here you got maybe one bullet in a gun, where here you've got 20 bolts in your gun. So... It's just disappointing that I actually spent money on these and I had to actually swap these out at my, exp at my expense, but there's no way I was gonna allow any of my customers to have one of those air systems in there. And it, the sad thing is, right now, if you Google bomb shelters, there's a couple startups out there, I think in Missouri and whatever, uh, Kansas, whatever, they're not, they, I don't think they sold very many, but this is the air system they're putting in their bunkers. They don't have access to these, okay? That's unfortunate. But they have access to this because this is for a DIY do-it-yourselfer. I honestly believe that this air system might work if it was maybe in the box of a U-Haul van where it was pulling the air just like right through the wall and it didn't have a series of pipes because there's no suction power there. So let's say it might pull the air and it might push it through there. This might work for maybe one of those portable command centers. I guess that's what you call it. I think that's my, because it's lightweight, the whole system, including the filter and everything was like 35 pounds. This thing right here alone weighs 137 pounds. The motor weighs 47 pounds. I mean, you're talking about a 300-pound air system compared to a 35-pound air system. So, guys, I make these videos to educate you, okay? Um, I hate to see people at times like this make a bad choice and get a bad air system. I don't want to say the word get ripped off, but in my opinion and the opinion of many people, others, because I was a, a customer of this, I felt ripped off. And I feel you will be ripped off too, unless you want this to be your air system motor and filter compared to one of these heavy things, these big giant centrifugal pumps. I mean, it's just no comparison. So when you're comparing bomb shelters, keep that in mind because Atlas would only put these air systems in our bunker. Matter of fact, the, VA, the VA-50 is the standard air system we put in all our larger bunkers. We put the VA-40 in our smaller shelters because that's plenty enough. This is for like 15 people. This is for like 50 people. I, let me show you what's inside these two real quick, okay? Because I did go and I visited the, the end air factory and they showed me what was inside their filters. I visited the Lunor factory in Switzerland. I went, went to the Bethel factory in Israel and they showed me around. Okay, so we're walking through the Bethel factory and they employ how many people here? All the facilities we employ uh, 1,200. 1,200 people for just for NBC air filtration systems. So it's a giant industry. And there's the assembly over here, just for some of the VA units. And you're thinking, wow, how can they have so many employees? Guys, every single apartment at every house in Israel has to have a fallout shelter and an NBC air filtration system. So it's mandatory. So they build about 50,000 apartments a year in Israel. That's why this company is so big.
But I must say, the good thing about the Swiss is this one will work with this unit and this one will work with that unit because they standardize the actual filters on these things. So it doesn't matter what brand filter it is, it will work uh, with the Swiss air system as long as it's made in Switzerland because there is Swiss standards. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey, listen, if you are looking to build your own bunker, Atlas Survival Shelters actually stocks the Swiss style NBC air filtration systems. We actually stock the Swiss style concrete filled blast doors. So if you do want to build your own bunker and do it yourself, you can get the doors and the air systems from us while supplies last. So guys, all you got to do is call 1-855-4-BUNKER. Give me a holler. I'll see what I can do for you. I have limited supplies on these, so get them while you can. Okay? Guys, thanks a lot.